Hi guys. So today, I just got the new uh, 2024 Daiwa Certic LT 4K. So right now it's um, 10 plus 1 ball bearings. So we're going to make it into like the Daiwa Exist, 2022 Exist. Make it 12 plus 1. So we're going to change the rotor bearing and the spool assembly bearing. Okay, so just take off the spool first. Okay, so as you guys can see, the white color one is the current plastic bushing so we're going to be changing that one into a metal deep groove ball bearing so first we need to take out the washers because we need to take out the you can see there's this nut here we have to take it out so we take out the washers first Kinda have to use some force to get it up. Okay, one's up. Yeah. Okay. So two of the washers are up. Just put them here. Okay. So as you can see, we take out this nut. Okay, let me try. Okay. Okay. So I actually use a T two bit instead of a T three bit. Okay, let's put it here, then we can start taking out the parts. Yeah. Okay, so you guys can see this white color one is actually a plastic bushing. So what we'll do is we'll remove this. Put it here. We'll just keep it for next time in case the, the stainless steel bearing you're going to change it to. It starts to rust, so you can either put it back or you just get a new stainless steel. Uh, I'll put the um, measurements of these bearings and the part numbers in the description so you can see the stainless steel ball bearing. Same size. Just put it back the same way. Just slot it in like that. Okay. So as you can see, it's inside. So what we need to do is just put back the screw slowly okay. get yourself a good screwdriver set magnetize on something like this so we we'll just screw it back 
be careful. Remember, get the trading correctly, or else it won't. You don't mess anything up. Okay. Okay. So we got it back. Now we just add back the washes. The two washes. Let's see if we can squeeze it down like this. Okay, I'll use the tweezers. Okay, one washes in. It's the other one. Okay, so the washers are back. Later on, what I'll do is I'll just add a bit of oil. Or if I forget to do it in the video, just add a bit of real oil. I think you can put some grease, but uh, for the, these... The ball bearings in this lo these locations are like quite easily accessible. So I think oil, oil will do. If anything, you can switch it out really easily. Like let's say it gets to rust. And... Oil is just uh, helps it spin smoother compared to grease, but grease is more corrosion resistant. Yeah. So the next one, we're done with this one. The next one will be in the drags. The drag stack. So for the twenty twenty four certate, they're using some ATD Type L drag stack. Okay, you see there's a metal wire here, covered in grease. So basically, you just have to take it out of place a bit. I think it'll come out quite easily. Yeah, just remember to put it back. See? So. Okay. So, what you can do is out now. So, basically, it just needs to fall out. So what you can do is flip it over. Try to get it up. Okay, fell up. This is the rest. So what I'm doing is pushing it out from the other side. So I'll arrange it in order. It's easier to do it that way. This looks like a felt drag washer. This golden one, not really sure what it is. Interesting. Okay, it's a golden one followed by another felt. And uh, one more. So, actually what I can do is just stack it, stack it back so it's easier for you to remember and you can just put it in one shot. So as with all these parts, just remember to put it back the same way, the same way you put it in originally. Is it this way or I think it's the other way?
Okay, I might cut the video to double check this one. But anyways, we'll move on first. Just one more. Felt dry washer. Okay, so it's just one more felt drag washer. Then you can see here, uh, not sure if you can see through all the grease. Is there's one more like retaining pin by this metal wire. So you just take it out. So gently just take it out and okay this is the pushing just push it out from the other side a bushing metal bushing actually I don't think it's a plastic bushing okay. so all you have to do is put the bearing inside this center here so for this one what I'll do is I'll oil it a bit first put a bit of oil Spin it a bit. So what we'll do is just place it back in. Okay, fits perfectly. Yeah. So once it's inside, you just have to put everything back in the same order, in the same order. So we're just starting with this. Might be a bit tricky, but we'll try our best. Okay, yeah. I think I got it in successfully. So here it is. Now we just put the drag back first with this washer. This felt washer. So give me a second, I'll check if I got this uh drag assembly it's just the last part i'm confused if i flipped it the right way or not so yeah give me a second yeah okay guys i think yeah this drag assembly is the right way so is this golden uh 
Is it a drag washer? I'm not sure. Followed by one felt, start, starting from the bottom. It's one golden one, followed by felt, followed by the other golden one, and then followed by felt. Then this uh, one on top facing up. So the bump faces up. So this one's actually really simple. We just put the whole thing back like this. Oh, make sure it aligns properly. I think it will be safer to put it back one by one. So starting with this one. Oops. Okay, we will try. Oh, okay. So there are actually four grooves on top here. As you can see, one, two, three, and four. Then you have to align it with the four. There's four grooves inside here, so so you have to align it. Okay, that's it. Got them in. Now, for these last two. Okay, I'll put the felt one first. Sorry, this one's a bit confusing. It's my uh, first time opening it as well. Yeah, so the felt. Okay, it's inside. And this last one, facing up. Okay, so it's all inside. What you need to do now is put back the... I think this may be a retaining pin or something. Let me see how I can do this. Oh, nice. Okay, just pop it in. Okay, yes, in. Okay, then that's it. So it's all installed. What I'll do now is put back the drag set. I'll assemble the whole reel, and then we'll see how it spins. Okay, one thing I forgot is I'll add a bit of uh, just a tiny dollop of oil here. You can see that. Yes, spin. Okay, now we assemble everything back. So right now is instead of uh, ten plus one, it becomes uh, exists twelve plus one. Okay, so there you go. The new 2024 certificate with upgraded bearings. Let's see if it's any smoother. Why is my... One second. Oh, okay. Handles right here. So... So here you go. Upgraded bearings for the 2024 certificate. Mm. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. I'll link the size of the bearings inside the description.